In 100 meters, turn right. Turn right, then turn left. Turn left. There'll now be a transition from bike to run, and I will have to start off the voice recorders very soon. Once we've Your destination is on the right. You can go wherever you like, wherever it's easiest for you. That's it. That side. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You'll be nearer the post that way. There's nothing in my panniers. To, don't worry about the stand either. It's not going to help you. You could either put it around both our bikes or... Hello there. Yeah, it is nice, especially in the sun. So everything's locked up, you got the key? Alright. She doesn't say go unless I set a challenge. Oh. If, I, if I say run for 5k, she'll say go! Strata, you know how they have the strata. Yeah, strata. 
tractor. They have their rules. But the bylaws of the of the the path are controlled by Sanage. Exactly. They can have their preferences, but they can't change the laws. Yeah. Sanage, you see, conservation area. Well, it's like telling people that nobody can park in front of our house. No. It's not strictly true, is it? It's not true at all. It belongs to the municipality. Yeah. And everybody pays taxes, so everybody has access to the There is that little section of uh, the Lockside Trail that goes from just by the Bottle Bank to uh, Borden. And that, that is owned by Borden Mercantile, and it says that this is private land, but you can have access to this laneway. That's look by agreement. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and peaceful today. Yeah. Once all the maples kick in, it makes a huge difference. Pretty soon we'll start seeing the ocean spray. I'm glad they're using flour to mark the uh, course. What are they using? They were using flour. No, but what are they using now? Other people have been known to spray paint trees. I mean, that's unforgivable. But that happens more up island. more of the logger mentality, you know, spray paint everything with orange spray paint. Sure, it's visible, but it's permanent, and it's an eyesore. I remember when they built this wall here, they had to ship all those rocks in. A few thousand dollars worth of rocks there. Yep, they're just using regular flour. Oh, it's not powdery. It is. Okay. You try kicking it. It goes away? Oh, yes. Yeah. Huh? So the animals will eat it. Or it'll blow away. Yeah. Or wash away. That's right. I remember once Somehow I... Somehow I thought they put water with it. So it no, I like it like a... Slurry. Yeah, like the way they do the, for the road markings, the the centre line is a mixture of white and and uh, some sort of resin that dries. I remember once marking a section of trail with popcorn. <laughs> well, the problem was that I marked the trail the night before. And the next morning, there was like one piece of popcorn left. And that's because it had been trodden into the ground. The but one piece? One popcorn, yeah. yeah. Not one section, one piece. It was unpopped? It was popped. Well, I would use unpopped because then it might not disappear. Well, 
the thing was that it had to be visible. Yeah. And yeah. unpopped it would be yellow, yellow on brown. Yeah. Not quite so visible. No, it was a humorous mistake, but luckily nobody got lost. It was just that there was a section that didn't look intuitive, so I marked it almost every other step. But probably ten minutes after me, a dog came along and snuffled them all up. Well, not to mention the squirrels. Yeah, yeah. But there was a, I, the, my figuring was that there was enough for the wildlife to have a feed, but not eat all of it. But a large dog would have just eaten the whole lot. Hello. Pair. Can't resist a pair of reusable gloves. Yep, I've just inherited a pair of throwaway gloves that someone has thrown away. Hello, hello, hello. A bit of bushwhacking here. How long this has been down? Not long. No. Oh. There's been a few people that have had to step around this obstacle. It's muddy. Yeah. Not to mention the thorn bush. Oh, look how muddy my shoes are. Yours are going to be too. Oh. There was us trying to avoid the mud by coming yeah, these here. These are my brand new shoes. Look at your shoes. <laughs> Why is it? They look as if they've been chocolate dipped. Oh. Now I just have to hope it rains to clean them. Sorry about that, Norma. Uh, well, you caused it, right? No. <laughs> I'm joking. How could you have caused that? I didn't cause yeah. that. Hi. You're heading for a bush track and you know that. Oh, what was that? There's a tree that's There's a tree right down you have to, but it's Why extremely it? muddy. Oh, great. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, I, I, I thought you said caused, paused it, like the recording. No, no, no. Paused it. Uh, yeah. Paused it. Now, that's the kind of color that comes out well in audio. All of a sudden, the unexpected. But I will take out that little financial chat. That's, uh, that's what I want to be. Yeah. That's what nobody's business. Well, nobody should really needs to know that. It's private. Yeah, I know. Not what they need to know. Well, that's why we're not going to say anymore. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to have to stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Up we go. There's the diagram of the raised bog ecology. This is where I got the title of one of my episodes. This bottom layer is called Broken Down Peat. But spelt P E T. Really? Yeah, P E A T. P E A T is the But if I called it broken down P E T E, that would be the man, Pete. Yeah. Poor old broken down Pete. But that's what's underneath all that bog material. There's 
the broken down peat, then there's a living layer, and then there's the stuff on the top which Goes forces down. it all down. Yeah. And breaks down into peat. But it takes something like 20 years or 15 years to fully break down. I can imagine. And so when they're digging it out, it's, it might be a renewable resource, but not for 20 years. Yeah. Probably about as long as it would take to grow a tree. Well, you know, it, it's, it's used so much in, like, gardening and... Yep. But that's why I'm now trying to get people to do coconut core, which is... That's a different kind of mulch. But it's the same thing. It has aeration and... It's organic. Yeah. And that's just the beard on the outside of the coconut. Right. So if you're eating the coconut, you're generating that stuff. So it's not like they harvest the coconuts for the koi. It's a product that they used to throw away. It's a byproduct that they can use. Yes. So they use the shells, they use the nuts, they use the oil, they, they use yeah. the And they save the, save milk. the peat mosses. Peat mosses. Yeah. The other thing that's interesting about peat mosses and marshes is uh, the inorganic anaerobic yeah, situation. Anaerobic yeah. it passed it down so much. They found bodies in peat yeah, it was totally that they ended up calling the police because they thought it was a recent homicide. Yeah, and they found it in 1600. And... Yeah. A little before their time. Yeah, and his boots were still good and his... Yeah, yeah. You can still see the tattoos on his skin. Mm. Somebody should go in there with a chainsaw and no. and cut that bit that's blocking the path. Oh, somebody from Santa can do that. Yeah. They should be notified. Probably not. No, I was just thinking about that meal that we had last night. It, it was good. Yeah. Portions were small, but... They're starters. They, yeah. I thought they were generous for starters. Yeah, I think that's what people are doing. They're just ordering yeah, half I mean, a dozen appies. You can't have well, I think an appy is, appetizer is smaller than a starter. I don't think they make the difference. No? What about the Chinese and their dim sum? That's a whole meal in itself. But it's a whole bunch of little appetizers. Well, it's like making a whole meal out of pasties. Yeah. But they would have dim uh, dumplings and they would have... Oh, and there's all different kinds. Like when you go to do some on, I think it's Saturday morning. Saturday morning. They have like a trolley. Yep. There's all these different kinds. And it's a bit like sushi. You just pick your, yep. your plate. So you pay a flat rate no. and... No? no, you pick your plate and they count your plates after you finish. Oh, just like sushi. Yeah. It's like a sushi bar. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been to one in 20 years. But no, me neither. So we're coming around to the noisy section at the bog. Having to play it by ear because I have some amps to run pretty low. So I'm managing to keep my heart rate reasonably low. 139. 
That's why I took a walk break. I'm getting Eh? I'm getting a pin. So you're uh, you're probably all warmed up now. Heat wise. Yeah, I wish I could get some blood into my back. Yeah. Oh. It's just a muscular thing. I think so. But if it doesn't get enough blood it can't relax. Good morning. That looked so much like mother and son, didn't it? Yeah, I was going to say you were happy Mother's Day. Yeah. So we've been moving for 20 minutes now. And we're getting to the noisy section. This might be another section that I edit because of the, the traffic noise from the highway. It gets pretty loud. Sometimes it's not, you know, the duck pond is sometimes very quiet. Yeah, except for the birds. <gasps> this is halfway around the bog. Doing your stretches. Too noisy today. Yeah. It's sort of fair weather, but there is some rain in those ones. Well, uh, the heavier clouds. Vancouver radio kept saying, "Well, it's cloudy in Victoria. There's some streaming through the window." Yeah. And they're still following Tudor Avenue, just located, located just outside of Victoria on Ten Mile Point. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might actually be Fairfield. No, it's probably yeah. Saturn. Yeah, it's Saturn. This is the garden weekend. And there's a garden down there that's also raising money for Valley Victoria. Oh, yeah. And the dancers are dancing in her garden. I hope they wear their leg warmers. <laughs> Hello, runner behind. Thank you. Sorry, turn you down. Hi. 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 You know what they were saying about the not to feed the ducks because of the erosion? This is exactly what's happening here. The path is giving away. I don't know, is the ducks' fault or what? Yeah, both. The ducks are pecking and the people are standing. And I 
Yeah. They're going to have to repair all of this pretty soon. Yeah. Next time I pause for a minute, I'll take a photograph or two. Hi. to believe that that was the building that burnt down. It was in the timbered frame uh, stage and it caught fire. It was the last one of the complex. Yeah, it had to be awesome. It could have been. They might have wanted to collect some insurance. Did you notice there's that extra segment in the middle? Yeah. Time 25 minutes. Average heart rate 130. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So those were definitely the first ones. Including the one that's opposite Tuscany Village. Yep, that's where the Petro Canada used to be, or whatever, yeah, the, the yeah. shell. But then there's a, another huge one on Hillside and another one somewhere else. I mean, I mean well along. I mean. Yep, you blink and then suddenly there's a new building there. Well, it's good. I just don't know if they low enough price for people. But... Yeah, there's that new one just off Garnet. There used to be, a, a, I don't know what was there before, but there's a whole new building. Gone in. Does it go up to McKenzie? Is it that one? Yep, yep. Yeah. That was another gas station, that was a show. So this is where I will start to hike and she will carry on running as is her womb. I can see the ramp looming up on me. But I mean the writing is on the wall for the gas station. Yeah, I think that's probably what's happening. Hello. The gas station owners, they want to be the last one. Because then they'll be getting all that business. People have to be driving from all over to get their guns. Yep. It's like the last man standing wins. Yeah, or the last video still in. How are you? Hi, Sylvia. Wow, nice to see you actually in person. I should almost take a picture, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I always find that view quite inspiring. Well, you've got the lower vegetation, which is the bog, and then behind the noble Gary, not the Gary, the Douglas fir. Get away from that light lamppost. Yeah. Got it. I caught her as well. It's quite big, really, if you look at all that space in the middle there. 
virtually none of it you're allowed to walk in. Yeah, agreed. You're supposed to stick strictly to the paths. Yeah, you and the, and the feral cats. Well, the cats, uh, they don't read signs, but... No. They don't listen to the news either. No. Let me take another photograph without the hydro pole and everything else and the fire hydrant. All right, so now I've got to catch up. She's walking ahead and dropping off behind. You know where we had to step through that tree? That was just uh, where we found where I found the gloves. Maybe whoever just climbed over had lost their gloves in the process. Because they were definitely bundled up. Yeah, it came out of the pocket. It fell out of the pocket. Somebody thought it's too warm for gloves, and then when they had to step through that tree to yeah. get to get around the mud. That, that's your story. That's the story, and that's the title of the film, of the movie. The title of the episode. Oh, it has to do with the Stepping the tree. through the tree? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun through the mud. <laughs> 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 we were just talking about that. My clean pants are now dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My new shoes are now exactly. dirty. Me too. My, <laughs> my, shoe, my shoe looks as if it's been chocolate dipped. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you got her. <laughs> That's weird. Just as we were talking about the tree, well, the pe people that you warn were right there. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I haven't been listening for Samantha lately. Is this what they call laurel? I don't know. It looks a bit like laurel. What they make the old wreaths out of. Oh. Laurel wreaths. In Spanish, laurel. It's got a little bone, that's a piece of cow bone. The dog's too. I noticed that last time I came through here, just in that section there, it went auto pause and then work out resume like there was a dead spot for the GPS. Oh. And it could be that big boulder, there's a great big rock there. Plus we're quite low, so a boulder like that would shadow the signal from the satellite. The satellites work basically by line of sight. If you could see where the satellite would be in space, it could see you. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Hello. I always do a little bit of running here because pretty soon we've got that long climb to do. Yeah. First little blip, then it flattens off, goes down, and then there's a long climb up to Emily Carr Drive. <laughs> it 
see a boulder like this, if you tucked yourself in under there, there wouldn't be too many satellites that could spot you. So you'd be safe from the gunners. You'd be safe from the targeted drones, yes. When you were young, yes. and you used to run, did you ever get those, um, you feel like you've got a stitch? In the yeah. Front of it's your spleen yeah, I, I used to get that a long time ago, yes, but that's I because I think it's because we don't run as hard as we used to. Yeah, it's something like you know, it's definitely when you're um, under stress. No, anaerobic. Anaerobic. Yeah, maybe. It's saying you need to put out more oxygen carriers. Yeah. That's where all this long-term, long COVID data is going to be useful. They're going to be able to track by athletic performance what happened during the pandemic. People's average lung capacity was reduced. Yeah, that would be great if it was just the lungs, but it's, you know, it's, the whole thing. it's the, you know it, they're finding deficits all over. Well, they always talk about brain fog, but I never really know what that's due to in my case, but... You know, if I was a very on-the-ball kind of scientist guy, I would probably notice yeah, that my brain wasn't functioning very well. Well, I think you noticed and you didn't remember things. I've just put it down to early onset Alzheimer's. Hello there. Hi. We'll save you on uh... Yeah, but some people call that brain fog. Oh, okay. So it's just a matter of semantics. What you call it doesn't necessarily mean what it is. Yeah, and... Definitely some drugs can give you brain fog because they decrease, you know, what your absorption. Yeah. But I don't think we can blame that on the vaccines. I don't think people who say, oh, the vaccines, I don't want any more of that poison in my veins. No, there were a few people that were allergic. Yeah. There was the Johnson & Johnson vaccine that caused so many clots which is still like 0.1% or something, but they, they no longer want to give it because it's... Is that the one that they didn't approve for one, children? It's one, uh, only one injection. Uh -huh. So it was approved after Moderna and Pfizer, but it, it, it appealed to people who didn't want to have two of them. The one with all the holes in it. Yeah, they've done a good job. The old woodpecker's uh, cafeteria. Yeah, you might want to block out the sun. I could use the tree yeah. itself to block the sun. Huh? Okay. So if I stand here. here. So you can see the holes. It looks like one of those really old um, mud built houses in Timbuktu. Oh. One of those Turag villages kind of thing. Like that abacus? Yeah, but a, a different, you put one in for each thousand or something. Or like a cribbage board. Yes. For pegging your score. Yeah. Vertical cribbage. And when you get to the top, You're you done. win. It's funny, that guy, Ralph Punt, taught me how to play cribbage. And he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and he could barely remember his children's names. But he, he, still, he still could teach me something that he learned when he was a teenager yeah. in the war. Because his brain gets full of holes. Yeah. And then where that is, you can't connect. But if, it, if it's, it's an area yeah. that's when his, when his brain was healthier, deep down in the in the folds of his brain. Yeah, it was just by chance. But it goes to show, you know, smartness and, and uh, intelligence are not the same thing. He was probably very smart, but he couldn't do much with what he had learned. No, no, that, that's not a difference between smartness and intelligence. That's the selective loss of your thinking. Ah. So we got about one more kilometer to go. Yeah, and then my leg fills and falls off. Well, you haven't run for a week, have you? Two weeks. I didn't run last week. 
No, we moved the kid last week. Hello. I thought she was talking to you, but she's talking on the phone. Seven berries in yeah. the green state. Yeah. Let's go. Taking her camping in Montana. Oh yeah. Because she used to like to camp and she just loved it and she was great. She walked, she hiked, she did everything. She just didn't talk about it. But her memories came back to her. No, it, but, well, whatever. Nature was really restoring. And her other daughter came. And the mother knew that she knew her, but she didn't know who she was. Oh. She said, I know you, but I'm not sure who you are. But it was fine. They had a great time. It's the sort of thing that you regret not having done with aging and dying. That's what she said. She said, this is something people should remember, that taking dementia patients out into nature is something which they can really enjoy. And that's what you want, is for them to still enjoy their life. Yeah, of course. The quality of life. Yep. Even if they can't walk upstairs. I... Well, they have to be mobile. Yeah, that's true. They have to be physically able to walk and hike. safe the way they've got without any stairs they can walk up that ramp there yeah, look. A kid up the top there. Yeah. they always want to send their truck down first off you go I'm watching go on Woo! very good they want to send the truck down and watch that go and get okay. Alright, no, the next thing would be, oh, bring me the truck. I want to do it again. Thank you. I can see the bikes. Not that I catch up. Let's take a photograph of the scenery. I don't know if that was 40 or 50, but uh, we're done. And I think I'm done for my week of running and activities. All right. 
let me just stop everything here. Total five forty five. Yeah, I think it's forty forty five. Save. It's going to give me that same message again about no internet. No, it says 40 minutes. That's pretty good. That's right, we used to do it in 38, so 40 is it's fine. quite acceptable. <laughs> Considering we had to climb through a tree. Anyway, this has got 46 on it, and I stop it. And the other one will have a little more because it's still rolling. Forty-seven oh two on this one. <laughs> 